Hello guys, this is Tina. How are you doing so far? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna introduce proxy and give you some demo uh, which shows how proxy works in Spring LP. Okay, but not as fancy as uh, what Spring that uh, did. Okay, just uh, show you brief ideas what proxy is because it's gonna help you to understand what is LP implemented in Spring? Okay, why this way works? So I have already I already have the project set up already, and in the palm I just have a Spring context, and the resource nothing, and this one we'll talk about later. Uh, here I have a package. If you are interested on the source code, you can take a look at a proxy package under the Spring LP. The uh, what's the source code gonna be in the description okay if you want to download you can download so what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, first I will create a customer service class normal class and in the customer service we are gonna have a method let's call do something uh, okay uh, do something uh, in customer service okay good and uh, next one is when we are using spring if we want to have a bin for customer service we don't create by ourselves right and uh, what we do is uh, we ask spring the bin factory or the IOC container to give us an instance of uh, customer service and for the proxy, I want using the Spring, okay? I will show you our own simple, uh, fancy factory, uh, bin factory. So in this demo, there's nothing you related to Spring, okay? Just to show you internally how Spring works for the IOC, okay? And the LP. So here, uh, inside the here, what we did is uh, here, let's call fancy uh, bean factory, okay? Just kind of like mimic what uh, Spring did, okay? What the Spring does, but uh, very simple, very, very easy way, okay? In the bean factory in Spring, we have what? We have a get bean method, okay? So here we have a simple version of a get bean method. And here, uh, if you give me a bin name, then I'll return a bin for you. Uh, if the bin name uh, called uh, customer service dot equals uh, bin name, I will return an instance of a customer service for you. And uh, uh, otherwise, return not. Okay, so first you have to understand this piece of code is hidden, okay, which is you don't wrote this code. This piece of code should be in the spring, okay, part of the framework. And the customer service, this is the code you wrote. And later on, we will have an app, which here is the main method, right? Uh, my main, this one doesn't work. And uh, in, when we use Spring, what we're gonna do, we get the application context, right? Using class uh, path, XML application context, or using annotation configuration application context to get application context, or get a bin factory, then to get a bins, okay? And here, since we are trying to mimic the bin factory, we have to create a bin factory here. This is a step you get application context, but here we just directly new, right? After you get a bin factory, we can call the bin method, right? Uh, then here, I want to get an instance of customer service. Uh, do you see this is familiar to you? Customer service, customer service. And here, uh, since we just return object, we have to do a down casting. And uh, here we call that do something, right? So this piece is the code you wrote. 
and the customer service is what you wrote. What you wrote. But for the fancy bean factory, this entire class is the spring framework do for you. When spring start up, it will it will load all the instance and when you're using get bean spring will give you a bean and here our fancy bean factory based on the bean name it will give you a bean okay and uh, let's run it you will see do something in the customer service which means when i call get a bean inside bean factory it give me uh, give us an instance right and uh, how proxy works proxy is here at the wrong time spring will create a proxy for you at the wrong time okay so this piece of code uh, now i'm writing is inside a framework it's not a program to wrote okay so at the runtime, Spring will create a proxy class. This one will extend this customer service. And for this one, we will also have this method. But this piece will call super dot do something. Okay, this piece is in the framework. And at the runtime, here, the bean factory we are no longer return customer service we are return customer proxy but there's no code change in app in the customer service okay this one and this one are hidden to the user who use the spring framework but as a customer when we use the bean factory and we rerun it everything is hidden and uh, you don't need you didn't see what it actually happened you can see i didn't change the code here right and it still will say do something in the customer service but actually whatever this bean factory provide you uh, the instance of the bean factory give to you is not customer service directly new using this one it actually return instance of uh, customer service proxy Okay, and later on, if you want to, to do some extra work, okay, suppose here, I want to do some logging, right? And for do the logging, this is a cross-cutting concern. Oh, sorry, cross-cutting concern, yes, which is the feature which will be used for the entire application. If we are directly using the logging here, uh, I have to add for if i want to change i have to change for all the code using this login instead what we did is we have a login uh, let's using logger aspect aspect okay and here uh, here we will have a, a public void log message log before okay uh, system out uh, logging before method being executed okay and after you have log expect what we can do is you can uh, inject one or you can create something like that in the proxy okay hidden okay we can the spring will create an instance of this log aspect for you and also before actually call the do something it will call log before okay. logger log before okay so this one is also hidden but you just define what kind of aspect you want at a run at a runtime spring will based on the configuration and then it will know okay before actually call the do something i will do some logging information when we run again e okay you can see uh, log before and do something okay so but uh, we don't have any code change in the app right we don't have any code change in the customer okay even though 
uh, this statement executed before that, but actually we didn't do because everything is uh, hidden. And uh, suppose you have another log after you just uh, define define the uh, device you want uh, after. Oh, then here uh, just a copy, okay. This one I using after being executed. Let's differentiate, okay. And then in the customer service proxy, which is the proxy Spring created for you, before doing something and after this method is done, it will also do something. So this is uh, runtime weaving, okay. But here we just manually uh, do it, okay, and run again. Okay, you will see. Before this method is uh, do something is called, you have some logging before that, you have some logging after that. So um, this is uh, how the proxy works, okay, in LP, but not uh, exactly what a Spring does, but it's gonna help you to understand uh, behind the thing what a Spring do. So in the bean factory, it decide what kind of things they're gonna return. It return the customer service or it return a proxy for you, okay? So it all controlled by the configuration and all controlled by a Spring IOC container. And uh, we can say that because of the Spring IOC container, the infrastructure which support ILP, LT to be worked, okay? So that's it for the proxy in LP. I hope you understand it. And if you have any question, you can leave a comment below. If you want to get the source code of this piece, you can go to the description. I will put a link of the source code there, okay? Uh, thank you. Have a good evening. See you next time. Bye-bye.